How's it going, everyone? Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get a six pack without doing push ups. So this is um, this is a good question I got from a subscriber. The issue with this is that most of the times um, push ups don't really give you six pack abs. The thing with doing push ups is most people don't know how to do push ups correctly. If you actually know how to do a push-up correctly, <clears throat> you'll know that you need to actually contract your abs when you are doing a push-up and you need to contract your glutes too. So if you actually do push-ups like this, where the whole time you're doing a push-up, like from start to finish, let's say you do 40 reps in a row, the whole time you're squeezing your abs, which I guarantee you like 99% of people don't actually do when they do the push-up, then um, if you're squeezing your abs, then that can help you to get six-packed abs. But even if you do that, doing push-ups isn't actually the best way to get abs. Um, to get a six-pack, the easiest way to get a six-pack is number one, you have to be a decent body fat percentage. Like you can't be 30% body fat unless you're a professional strongman. If you're a professional strongman, you can be 25% body fat and you can still have abs. The reason being is they have developed their core so much from doing so much overhead lifting because that's basically what strongman is. It's all lifting stuff over your head. Their core is so developed. I've seen strongmen that are like 30% body fat that have chiseled abs. So the thing that you want to do, the easiest way to get six pack abs is to get to a moderate body fat percentage. You can be 12% body fat. You don't have to get down to like 8% body fat. Like people say 12% is more than enough to get six pack abs. The next thing that you want to do is you actually have to develop the ab muscle. Like it's just like um, your biceps or your triceps. You have to actually develop the muscle. You can't just get to a low body fat percentage and be like, hey, my abs are shredded. That's not how it works. But a lot of times on the internet, that's all people say. Get down to 10% body fat and boom, you'll get abs. No, I've seen people at 8% body fat that don't have abs because they haven't developed their abs. How do you develop your abs? The same way you would develop your biceps. You do weighted exercises for them and you slowly do more weight or more reps every time, every single time you train them. So an easy way to add weight uh, to ab exercises is to do an ab crunch holding a lat pull down machine. So from the lat pull down machine, you hold the, the lat pull down machine and then all you do is you start doing crunches. Easy way to do this because to add weight, you just add a couple pounds to the lat pull down machine. Um, there, when, when I was training my abs, when I went to the gym, I would do, there were ab machines there. So I'd literally just do one ab machine. I would just add weight to it every week. Eventually I just maxed everything out. I actually don't train my abs directly now because I do much so much squatting and deadlifting my abs are so developed. I can have six packed abs at like 20% body fat just because I do so much squatting and deadlifting. That's another way you can indirectly get them just by doing lots of squats, deadlifts, overhead pressing. That's another option. So end of video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please um, click the bell notification button so you guys get all my newest vids.